Welcome back to That's Debatable. Today's debate, powered by Cisco WebEx, is all about two of the biggest events in the game, two majors. We have the Masters and the U.S. Open. Which is better? We've got David Denunzio going up against Andrew Tursky. Denunz, you are the lower C. Would you like to go first or defer? That's a good question. You know, I'm going to let Andrew go first here. All right, Tursky, you've got 60 spot. seconds. I'm on the spot, huh? All right. U.S. Open versus the Masters. I've been trying to figure out what the actual debate is. It's which would you rather watch? Because U.S. Open is so unique and difficult to you, like over par could win and it's really unique. Whereas the Masters is more of like a birdie fest. You get that pretty much every week. Is it, would you rather play in the U.S. Open or the Masters? Because if I could only play one for the, for the remainder of my career, I'm picking the U.S. Open. I mean, think about all the courses you get to play. Pebble Beach, Oakmont, Shinnecock Hills, like there's so much more uh, variance, whereas you're just playing Augusta year after year. Okay, got it. Which one would I rather, <laughs> which one would I rather win? Obviously, the U.S. Open is the strongest field, so that's proving that I'm the better golfer. It's the strongest field of the majors, at least. And you get 3.8 mil for the winner instead of, I think it's just over 2 mil, which is basically pennies compared to the U.S. Open. Plus, you're beating the best field in golf. It's the ultimate test. Awesome. Plus, it's the United States Open. So, um, you know, I'm patriotic, and it's our nation's event. And it's, it's, the, it's like the perfect representation of America. They allow David. anyone 1.4 handicap index or lower to try to qualify. And you get uh, – it's open to Michelle Wee, Tony Romo, me, you, we could all. <laughs> all try right, your golf. sixty seconds are up. Beautiful. The nuns, you don't have American flag behind you. You don't have a U.S. Open hat or a U.S. Open sweatshirt. What can you tell us about the Masters? Yeah, I've been working today, <laughs> and you know when we when we brought Andrew on at the beginning of two twenty, I didn't know he was such a greedy sob. It's all about the money for you. I mean, listen, America. Uh, the U.S. Open is is a special tournament. When I was a kid, I used to dream of winning the U.S. Open. But as I got older and wiser, those dreams switched to putting on a green jacket. Uh, if for you know, It's a great tournament, and the USGA does an awesome job. But every country has a national open. Bangladesh probably has its own Bangladesh open, right? This is – everyone's got it. The Masters is singular and unique, right? You win it, you get the pencil in a major for the rest of your life. And one that's not going to kick you in the head. It's still cool to watch Sandy Lyle – go down and, and play in, in, in at the Masters of a year. Do you think Jack Nicklaus, you know, at his age when he won in 1986, would he would have had a chance at the U.S. Open that year? No. It sets it up for a lifetime of competitiveness. As a player, you know, what player doesn't want to be in the spotlight or be in front of the fans or still somewhat competing uh, without going into darkness like so many players in the NFL and baseball have to do? They just, when they're done, they disappear from the game. The champions at Augusta get to be in the spotlight until they, you know, physically they can't be in the spotlight. Okay. And, okay. I think that's a good point. Andrew, in 30 seconds, you have a rebuttal time. We won't be seeing I, Phil Mickelson right now. Right now, Phil Mickelson is not qualified for the U.S. Open. Right. All, all I heard was him say that Jack Nicholas won the Masters and he could never win the U.S. Open, which is great right. for my opinion because that it's a stronger, better field. Yeah. Also, I brought up uh, I'm an American. Love America, big America guy. I'm also a son, and I love my dad. And Father's Day just happens to fall on U.S. Open Sundays every year. So not only do I love my dad, I love the U.S. Open and America. U.S. Open over the Masters all day. Red, white, and blue over green, yellow, and azalea. Yeah. Okay, okay. Denons, you got 30 seconds. You're in a little bit of a hole. Dig yourself out of it. All right, yeah. Uh, obviously, Father's Day is great. Uh, I've had a father I have Andrew. Uh, he's 82, and we look forward to those June Sundays. What's even better is the start of the golf season with which the Masters coincide. It's not just a major. It's a rebirth for everyone. And the aforementioned Mickelson, that's great. I mean, how, how many times has Mickelson finished second in a, in a U.S. Open? 60 times, right? The fact that the guy hasn't thrown himself into a lake is got those Masters wins. That's what's important. You walk away with the coolest trophy in golf, something to do every April. And about the field being stronger in the U.S. Open, 
it, I don't know if I buy that. Some guy plays great the weekend before, and he qualifies. Like the Ryder Cup, the Masters field is set based on kind of a wider swath of performance in general. It's the better tournament. I'm not, I'm not positive that the numbers are going to back you up there to nuns. I think I don't necessarily agree that the U.S. Open is better, but I do think that Andrew has presented a better debate. Mr. Tursky, you're going to move on in today's debate of That's Debatable. Let's by go. Cisco, you're on to the final four. Uh, because Memento cheese sandwiches are overrated, too. So.